When I first got my Creality K1C, within a few prints, I got a blob all over the hot end. I just destroyed it. I ended up breaking the temperature sensor. So today I want to put a new hot end from MicroSwiss, specifically for the K1C, from their Flowtech series. But I also want to run it with a .6 nozzle, which means I've got to make a custom profile in Orca Slicer. So let's do all that and see how well this works on today's Film It Friday. This video is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also sponsored by MicroSwiss, creators of the Flowtech Hot Ends. In a previous video, I showed how I got this plastic blob on my Creality K1C. I couldn't get it all off, it basically destroyed the hot end. The original black A plate didn't work very well, so I got this PEI textured plate, and it works pretty good on other machines, so now I got one for my K1C. Now I'm ready to replace the hot end. Well, MicroSwiss sent me one of their Flowtech hot ends for the K1C. So I'm going to install it on my machine, and I want to use it with a .6 nozzle, so we'll see how well this works. The original Creality hot end just isn't as robust. The temperature sensor is very subject to being broken when I remove that plastic. Where the MicroSwiss unit is very solid and protected, so removing the blob from this is probably pretty easy. I also like the shorter simplified nozzle from MicroSwiss instead of the long one that Creality supplies with their machines. My original assembly was so messed up I couldn't disconnect the hot end from the heat sink. And you need the heat sink to install the MicroSwiss unit. So I was able to get a new heat sink from Creality which made this job so much easier. The MicroSwiss kit comes with excellent instructions and all the parts you need, but you do need to have a nice set of small Allen wrenches to do this job properly. And again, I'm using a brand new heat sink and assembling this separately before I install it on the machine. So I recommend you just follow their instructions. They're very straightforward, but I'll add one step. Remove the circuit board. They don't tell you to do that, but I'm telling you it makes it easier. Remove the circuit board. There's just like three screws to take it off, and then you can get to the connectors very easily on the back of the board. It's difficult without taking the board off. And then just put it back on with those three screws. It's a simple step, but makes it so much easier to install any Flowtech hot end. Now again, I started with a brand new heat sink, and I forgot to take a picture of it. It's that top metal section here with the fins and the mounting holes. That's the heat sink. The kit includes this copper colored insert with an O-ring for a seal, but you have to put thermal paste on the bottom of this. And they include the thermal paste in the kit, so you just spread it out on that base, and then it's ready to insert into the heat sink. With a little bit of force, you push it all the way into the heat sink until it bottoms out on that flange. There's two mounting screws included with the kit. You screw one into the heat sink on one side of the flange, then install the hot end, and then put the other screw in on the other side of the flange. This is so much easier with the heat sink off the machine, but once you get both screws tightened up, the hot end is hanging there in place. Now I was ready to take the assembly and actually install it into the printer with the two mounting screws at the top. I installed the two connectors into the circuit board and then also installed the nozzle at this point and then tightened it up with a 7mm socket, hand tightened. Then I put the board back in place. I reinstalled everything per their instructions, like I said, were very good, and then I was finished. I was ready to test it. I loaded some filament, then I hit extrude, it heated it up, and pushed it out the nozzle and everything was looking fine. So then I printed a phone stand and it came out just fine. Now this was with a .4 nozzle, so I want to try a .6 next. I wanted to try it on a large 500% Stemfy block, and it would take a little over an hour or 63 minutes to print this with a .4 nozzle. So I want to try a .6 and see how much faster it is. So I hit retract, and that'll pull the filament out of the nozzle so I can remove it. Then I got a 7 millimeter socket and by hand took the 0.4 millimeter nozzle out. It takes a lot of unscrewing because it's very long, but once I got that out, then I could put the 0.6 nozzle in the socket and screw it into the hot end. I changed to a blue filament and then I extruded that and it came out the nozzle just fine so I was ready to print. And that's when I realized I needed a 0.6 profile in Orca Slicer, so I had to make one. So I made a copy of the 0.04 nozzle by clicking on the pencil up here, going to Extruder, 
and then changing the nozzle diameter to 0.6. And then once I had that, I saved it as a new name here. I called K1C, changed it to 0.6 nozzle name, and then got rid of the dash copy and saved that. So now I had the start of a new profile, but then I had to go in further and modify the layer height and the line widths. So I started with a 0.3 here at layer height. Then I changed all the line widths. And I guessed on a lot of this just based on experience, but it turned out it came out pretty good. So then I needed to save this, so I clicked on the Save button, gave that a new name of 0.3, K1C, 0.6 nozzle, and now I had my profile. And it said it would take 44 and a half minutes to print this. Here's the time lapse from the K1C camera, and this thing's looking actually really good. Actual time was recorded as 43 minutes, and the print quality looks pretty good for a 0.6 nozzle. The walls look really smooth. I am really happy with the results I got with a 0.6 nozzle, plus it prints faster. So I'm going to keep it on this K1C. And I'm happy with this Flowtech hot end for the K1C from MicroSwiss. It's worked really well. It was pretty easy to install, but what made it real easy is I had the heat sink. I got one from Creality, so I could assemble the whole thing ahead of time, take the old one out, put the new one in, I was ready to go. Made it much, much easier. So, Microsoft, if you're listening, maybe start offering the heat sink as well. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hollowbuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.